do see that time 5.15 a.m. and I'm flying to Munich at the moment I am at Hauptbahnhof it's also called a central station taking bus to Tegel airport which is up in the north and there is one in the southeast of Berlin so this is gonna be my first time filming any university in Munich I'm going to ISM which is the International School of Management a pretty reputed university in Germany I have been invited there to do a campus tour and to speak to students and get to know about their courses and programs they offer yeah that's what I'm going there for even Oktoberfest is going on so if I have a time I would definitely hop onto that plan also but yeah this is the whole video for today This is what I have to take. It is fun. So ISM is actually pretty close to Hopanov, Munich. The main station of Munich is pretty far from airport. It takes about like 45 minutes to reach there by train. Uh, well, right when you get down from the escalators, because this is the only escalator on this platform. One second. I think I see you. Do you see me? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Nicholas, yeah. So as soon as you come on this platform, there are platform number one and two. From both the platforms, trains will take you to central station, uh, which is Hauptbahnhof or city center. So just keep that in mind. We're just waiting for train to arrive now. And as I said, the Hauptbahnhof, the central station, is going to take roughly about 45 minutes to reach there. This is the map of Munich. This is where we are right now. Uh, Flughafen, which is Munich Airport. And we got to go all the way till Central Station right here. So finally after 45 minutes of that train ride, uh, I've reached Hauptbahnhof, Central Station of Munich. I'm going to walk to this ISM school and it's raining outside. This is about Germany, you know. There is a value for life here. I've shown you guys multiple times before also. As soon as this siren is on, people literally go on the sides so that uh, it's an emergency situation. And if you don't give away, if you're literally breaking a law here, uh, whether it's about uh, ambulance or whether it's by uh, a police car, which siren is on. So this is what I like about Germany is there is a value for life here and people do respect that. Uh, right now, this is the area of uh, Havana. From Hauptbahnhof station uh, to this ISM is just about like seven minutes walk, quite central. I'm going to be giving you a campus tour of ISM, uh, talk a bit more about the programs which they are offering. Also, I want to know what makes this school so different. As you guys know that I've already visited like multiple other schools and I've learned over the course of time a lot of things. So, yeah, if you are interested into business studies, keep watching. Alright guys, so I'm standing here with Ash, uh, she's from States, studying in ISM. Uh, what are you studying? I'm studying International Business Management. She's going to be giving me campus tour and talk about what facilities do they offer, a bit more about, uh, which is not available on internet. So yeah, let's get in. Um, this is the main entrance, uh, what do you see? So ISM is centrally located, it's really close to a lot of U-Bahn stations and the best one would be Konigsplatz, right across the street from us. Uh, Hauptbahnhof is an eight minute walk. A lot of the students commute from Hauptbahnhof. On That's like a really, really center. Yes, like we're directly in the center of um, Munich. Yeah, what is this location? This is our lobby. We have a new coffee bar that just opened last semester. All the students are really excited. We have student discounts there. So this is our main floor. This building is shared with uh, business offices on in between the floors. So yeah. it's quite nice to see what we will future look like, how we will yeah. show up to work, and to know that those are goals and offices to aspire to. We have already entered. As you can see, it's it's written like. International School of Management. So here we have some classrooms. What I really want to show you is our student lounge and our library. 
What is this? This is our library, so it's open until 7.30. books both in English and in German, as well as magazine articles and the regular printing and all stuff. Here is our student lounge where people have lunch, where there's meetings, study groups, uh, there's food, drinks, a coffee machine. It's great. And then I wanted to show you real quick over here our courtyard. It's a little rainy today, but normally ISM holds events here. We have our Christmas party at the end of every year. We have opening semester parties. Normally when the weather is nice, people are out studying with their yeah. books, computers. Okay. It's a very nice atmosphere. How many floors this whole building is? For ISM, it's, we use three floors. In the total building, there's six. Wow, OK, let's go up. So before we move on to the next segment, how many campuses does ISM have? ISM has six campuses, Munich, Stuttgart, Cologne, Hamburg, Dortmund, as well as... Frankfurt, yes. Frankfurt, yeah? Dortmund is the main campus. Dortmund is the main campus. Yeah. So I'm going to show you the student reception area. Okay. So this is the student reception office. Here, when you're sending in your applications, if you have questions when you're transferring to this university, other universities, all of your emails will be answered by these lovely ladies. Okay. So they're super helpful, especially when you're lost with how to get from one country. Here, they're very helpful. And, okay. and now I would like to show you some study rooms. Oh, have. it's here? Yep. Okay. So all of the rooms have an open door policy. So you can go in and study as long as there's no lectures being held. This is a good example on what most of our lecture rooms look like. Uh, ISM is great because the lectures are quite, the lecture class sizes are quite small, so it's very intimate and most of the professors are from the public universities around here, so from LMU, from TUM, this is a very group discussion, mm -hmm. very interactive type lecture. I came here last year in September, Okay. Uh, classes started shortly after that. How do you find it like studying here? It's quite good. It's a lot different from an American university experience in class sizes, uh -huh. but there's so many opportunities here to travel and to learn about the culture and to learn about different people's culture. There's so many companies, large companies that are based here where it's easy to not only try to get internships with so many big name companies, the big four, but they're all here, Microsoft, whoever you can think of, they're most likely here. Yeah. So to know that you have all these resources open to you and you're studying exactly what you want to learn and to practice in the real world. Right. Ash, my question is regarding the finance now. How do you manage your finance? And can you give me a rough idea of how much an individual would spend if he or she comes here to study? Yeah, absolutely. It really varies, but for me personally, rent here is quite expensive. I, for anyone else coming here, I expect from 400 all the way up to 900 and more for an apartment or a room. For me personally, mine is around 400, which is quite cheap considering the central location okay. and that we're in Munich. Uh, other than that, you will have to pay for student insurance, yeah. which the insurance rate is discounted quite a lot for students. That's so around 90 euros, depending on who you take your insurance with. In addition to that, you have your not so necessities, so your phone, uh, food. I love grocery shopping here compared to the US. Food is fresh, they have a lot of uh, organic yeah. food available, and the prices are just you, you really cannot be upset about that. Give me the number at the end of the month. The number at the end Give of the, the month? month. Yeah. yeah. I'd say around 700 euros a month. This is like necessities, food, exactly. insurance, yeah. and rent. If you want to have a comfortable life, yeah. be able to go out with friends for a burger or a yeah. beer, then plan more around 1,000 to 1,200 euros. Yeah. Now we are heading to the third floor of yes. this building, right? Mm -hmm. So third floor. You're going to find more lecture halls, of course, Yeah. in addition to our computer rooms. We also have resources available to students, mm -hmm. so I'll go more in depth about that. Sure. This way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right now we're going to the Career Center. 
Career Center is super helpful with having a job platform. Yeah. So it's an online platform for ISM students where they can find jobs, internships worldwide, not just in Munich. Okay. Mm -hmm. They also have many workshops that are often required for bachelor students to work on CV, letter of motivation, how to go through an interview, to take professional interview pictures, everything involved with becoming a successful job candidate. Yeah. The Career Center does have resources to help students out with. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is our Teresa. What is this? Our lounge outside balcony. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a very popular place for students to come out when the weather is nice to study. Wow. A lot of students come out here for a quick smoke break. It's yeah. a great social place between courses. Uh, tell me a bit more about <laughs> subjects what you're studying right now. Total focus is international business management, but it breaks it down into supply chain management, to corporate social responsibility, to financial accounting, both managerial and international. It covers a wide range of topics and I think it's a great way for students to get an introduction on what they want to focus in for their masters. Yeah. Can you talk a bit more about it? How did you apply to this school? The application was quite simple. It's all online. Uh, you would talk to Nina or Sandra from our bachelor and master recruitment. You just need to send in a CV, proof of prior education that meets the ISM standards a letter of motivation. That's the first round for being up, uh, applying to ISM. Second round is where you will have an interview, whether you come to Munich or to the campus of your choice. You can have it over Skype. It just depends on your situation. So yeah. then you have a verbal interview. Yeah. And from there, then you are either accepted or not. So here is a general view at other practicums that you can take, jobs, this is posted all from the Career Center. Uh, you also have other things such as like tutoring, if you need help finding a place, you can put a listing. Uh, we also have information about our alumni, so if you want to contact them about their experience with their current company, things if you want advice about your career, what's a good place to start, those are great resources. Two quick questions for you. Mm -hmm. One. What kind of job do you expect after you complete your studies? I think a job after ISM, it would be very feasible to work at a big company such as BMB. There's a lot of alumni that work at other big companies such as Kantar, PVC, Google. So it honestly just depends on your concentration, your degree, bachelor's or master's. But definitely with the help of the Career Center, the prestige of the university in itself, I think it's quite quite feasible to get a good internship at a major company label or a secure job. Try to sum up this your stay in, in Munich and your experience with ISM in one sentence. Absolutely challenging in all the best ways. Thanks a lot Ash for coming on my channel and uh, yeah if you guys have any doubt regarding the courses, regarding any question, any smallest or the biggest question, you can always reach out to ISM's uh, management team, go on their website and just reach out to them and they'll be the right person to answer your queries back. In ISM, you have a course for masters which is to do with supply chain management. Yes, that's correct. Um, let's go back to the basics. First of all, my question is who can apply for this course? Because sometimes I do get requests from people who are studying engineering. Yeah. And like, hey, can I apply for this course or not? So that's yeah. my question yeah. for you first. Yeah, it really depends how many credits you have in your bachelor programs. Okay. Um, according to management uh, or uh, logistics management, we can have that uh, look uh, case by case. So why do I study supply chain management from ISM? Mm -hmm. Because there is a high practical orientation. Um, during your, your whole master's programs, you have their internships as well and um, projects integrated in your program, yeah. which are directly linked to the economy branch. Yeah. And this branch is uh, always focused there, especially in Frankfurt and in Hamburg. There's uh -huh. a high logistic branch oh, yeah. in Germany, and it's very focused on this. You have many companies there which are located there. Yeah. And also the teachers, which you have in, your, in our master's, yeah. they come directly from the economy. So you have the direct possibility to get a huge network doing your study and afterwards you can apply for a job there for example makes sense yeah. okay okay all right guys so i'm sitting here with dr klaus um sir i'm here with a very uh concerned question for a lot of students who 
are you know in a process to decide which university should I select mm -hmm. when you have so many in the market mm -hmm. does the accreditation really matter a lot because a lot of schools they portray that we have so many big things but in reality what's going on under mm -hmm. at the end of the day as a student I want a job wherever I study at the end of the day what what's your point of view on that well that's exactly the point what you just said in the in the end you want a job and at the end of the day, companies, HR managers, uh, managers of departments, that's exactly what they are looking for. Maybe at the first glance for the students, that doesn't matter. They are concerned about different things when they start their studies, when they are thinking about where to study. Yeah. But if you think a little bit along the line, down the time frame, when it really comes to the point to apply for a job, um, HR managers, they decide in a very structured way. They look at your certificates, where did you graduate, and particularly in the international context. Mm -hmm. um, these accreditations are extremely important. The accreditations, they provide some kind of compass yeah. to the HR managers, which enables them to decide whether a student, an applicant, comes from an extraordinary outstanding university is probably even in the best case one of the best in the world mm -hmm. or whether he comes from just any university where you don't know really what is the teaching standards what kind of research standards scientific standards they apply so maybe in the beginning it's not really obvious to the student yeah. but when it comes to the point of applying to a job yeah. yes it absolutely matters it's an absolutely crucial factor that you studied at a university that got uh, well recognized globally recognized accreditations I believe it's very very important at the end of the day I mean I'm paying university whatever money for for my graduation for MBA for example do you think like the onus is not just on university but also on you how you perform at the end of the day uh, after having all the accreditations in the world but I think it's also the individual which which absolutely. you have to prove that absolutely if a strong individual performs at a well-accredited and recognized university yeah. and still in that strong environment, mm -hmm. very, very tough environment, uh, having high standards to fulfill yeah. and still comes up with excellent results. I think that's the kind of student that companies are really, really looking for. So the combination are actually of both what you're saying, accreditations, top university and a well-performed uh, graduate with excellent results this is what you need to achieve as a student. And I'm here to learn more from you about the courses. Can you tell me a bit more about the whole course structure? So the program is structured in three trimesters. So the first trimester we cover strategic management, international management, but also the internal management of a corporation. So change management, crisis management, risk management. So everything you need to know to really also guide your, your corporation through changing times. Mm -hmm. um, and the third part in that first trimester is leadership skills, um, also with an emphasis on intercultural management and intercultural skills. The second trimester then covers uh, the functional um, areas, topics mm -hmm. that you as a manager should know. Uh, so finance, marketing, and supply chain management. And then the third trimester we focus on new methods, new approaches, especially since the world in which we're living is, is becoming more and more complex and the pace of change is becoming faster. So what we do is innovation management and we also go deeper so we have a special deep drill on um, business model innovation yeah. and design thinking. So students will do a real design thinking challenge. Right. Then we have IT enabled transformation, so data science, um, IT strategies, mm -hmm. uh, that's also very important, so we talk, cover that. And the final part is um, entrepreneurial skills. Um, so what students do is a little bit of entrepreneurship, but then at the end they do a business plan exercise where it all comes together, so where they use all the skills, all the methods they've been um, learning in the, in the previous year. So what we also have as part of the program is individual coaching. So in this case, a student is working with a personal coach and they really get the chance to work on their strengths and weaknesses. And part of that is also leadership skills, uh, but also conflict management. So that really helps them to be prepared for, for future leadership position. And I think that's also something that most people benefit a lot from. We also saw that in the part-time program, people said that they um, really made leaps and, and mounts in, in, in terms of their per, uh, personal and professional development. All right, guys, so I just had an intensive talk with the international office and something which really caught my attention and I want to highlight that point uh, specific to you guys is having studied 
business in this country, I can tell you no university is doing this. All right. Um, I have this flip chart I'm going to explain to you. So ISN works with uh, more than 180 universities all over the world. Right? Now this is the advantage if you study in ISM is if you are a master's or uh, bachelor's students, you're supposed to, this is mandatory that you're supposed to do exchange um, abroad in out of those 180 plus universities. If you study anywhere in Europe, the fees what you're paying to do masters to ISM, they will be taken care in the exchange program also. So you don't have to go to, let's say for, for example, you go to France, then you don't have to pay them separately for that. There may be a possibility that you might have to pay like one or two percent, which, which will go high by the time, because if your course is for two years, which is like, let's say, master's course, there are a total of four semesters. Out of this, so two semesters, you're gonna have classroom sessions, and two semesters which are left, which is the second year, this is first year. So the two semesters which are left from here, the third semester which, uh, which you're going to be in, third sem, this has to be your exchange program. Now the advantage of having this exchange program is you know how important it is to have an international exposure while you're studying business or anything abroad these days. The plus point about this exchange program is when you come back for your fourth semester these credits let's say you did it in Paris as I as we spoke about uh, in France uh, you will come back with those credits in, and those credits will be added to your fourth semester all right so I, I, I think this is a great advantage now the only exception in the whole thing is if you do MBA in MBA you really don't have to go for exchange for let's say six months or four months there they have advantage the reason being is to do MBA in this country, you need to have at least two to three years of work experience. Someone who has already had exposure of two to three years of work experience they may not want to stay abroad for straight six months and then come back again. In a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is out of those four semesters, you got two semesters in a classroom, one semester as an exchange, one semester, the last semester is thesis. So if you do exchange in Paris, you're going to come back to Munich. And for example, if you are into ISM Munich because they have six branches all over Germany, so you come back to Germany again and then complete your last semester. So while you're studying, you got exposure of two countries already. And I don't think so any, any school is doing that. And on top of that, you are not even really paying, have exposure from other countries.